logs that are exported from New Zealand to certain of our trade partners, they require them to be guaranteed insect free. And at the moment, the predominant method of treating export logs is methyl bromide fumigation. Under the 1992 Montreal Protocol, it was decided to phase out methyl bromide internationally because it is an ozone layer depleting agent. One alternative is heat sterilisation. The whole piece of wood has to be at at least 56 degrees C for at least half an hour. So how do you heat a log up in an efficient way and reasonably quickly? With this technique, which is called joule heating, after joules effect or resistive heating, apart from some tiny losses in the transformer and so on, all the energy is dissipated in the wood, which is exactly what you want. It's just like a one bar electric fire. All the heat's going into the element. We've come up with this stuff we call synthetic sap, which we can paint on the end of the logs to make the contact between the electrode and the log. Obviously this would be done, they'd be stuck on somehow in practice. Do you want to give it a real good shove? Yeah, we go up to 50 psi, we've been doing before. Yeah, that oh, yeah. looks all right. We're going to have a, a maximum voltage that it's going to go up to, which is quite important. You can set that, then it's got a maximum current and a, a minimum current and it maintains the current between the maximum and minimum and then there's a thing which is a target for the total energy how many kilowatt hours you want to go into the log and then there's a readout at the end which is act the actual amount of energy that's gone to log. With this sort of power it's going to be of the order of 10 minutes this is 100 kilowatts approximately. With a megawatt, it's going to be in the order of one minute. Yep. We integrate the power, which means that we sum up all the power that's gone into the log over time until it's reached a predetermined energy, which we've calculated based on the mass or weight of the log and its volume, until it's reached a certain amount of energy which we believe is enough to raise its temperature to at least the 56 degrees C minimum, and then we stop. You can see the amps dropping on the meter there. And as soon as the volts reach zero, test's over. Two big breakers off there. What we need is to get the New Zealand industry behind this, and they have been behind it. We can now show them that it's actually uh, worth funding this properly to, to um, get to the stage where we can actually build a, a pre-production machine on the port and start trialling this as a real technique.